Welcome to Colony Earth. This is the bunkhouse. This is the new tiny home self-contained earth ship. I'm calling it an earth ship because it is food and power and um, water harvesting uh, self-contained earth ship. You live in it and it's actually monolithic and buried into the hillside. In fact, it's got a living roof on there. That living roof actually happens to be our zone one personal use garden with a lot of arugula, corn, beans, tomatoes, uh, turnips. We've got a lot of really great stuff up there right now. Anyway, you can see it is earthen structure. These are locust beams that we harvested here on the property. Um, we built the place ourselves. This is a cob uh, window fixture above it. You can see and there's um, uh, glass bottles in there. But the rest of it is stick frame framed in these uh, locust beams and all covered in lime plaster. Sloped tin roof, but it has a big window on the top for solar gain as well as these windows for solar gain in the winter time. And then in the summertime, these actually open up. They will be screened in and then there's vents up at the top in the back here. Um, there's also a back door. It's a loft apartment. We're going to put a uh, rocket mass stove heater in here. Um, so in the winter time, it will get the solar gain, and then in the summertime, it uh, we can open the vents and have convection, keeping the place cool inside. It is a south-facing uh, root cellar there, but we are building a really good door for it, and that's going to be its own instructional video later. And then this is a power harvesting room. We're going to be putting battery banks, um, banks of uh, golf cart batteries and stuff in here, and we'll be putting solar panels up here, but this is also going to be a living roof system, but it's going to be just a, and, and that's not as many joists as it's going to be. There's actually going to be one more in each space. It's going to be very sturdy, um, but it's going to be just a grasses sort of living roof, whereas that's going to be the living roof garden. This is also a garden, a terraced garden, and there's a pathway up there. Um, I'm going to try to keep this really short. So we're going to use this for power harvesting with solar panels and my SAR unit F350 that runs off of veggie diesel and that's what that tank back there is. I'm going to show you the pathways here. That's our wood pile and the road you come in on. Anyhow, so we've got these terrace gardens all the way up here. Various things. This is actually blueberries back here and beans. Um, this garden didn't actually do too hot yet. But then you've got a nice terraced walkway, and then voila, check out the lusciousness. That's right. We've got all kinds of basil actually in here, some tomatoes growing right there. And you can see this is the back of the structure. Not quite complete, but check it. That is what is on top of the building, and this is all food, people. There's a path actually right through here, and this is all a food forest. Very lush. Very delish, very tasty.